I can't stand an untidy expression, so every Sunday I make sure I factorise my expressions. Factorising is the opposite of expanding. We try and put an expression into a bracket. Let's work through these questions. To find the common factor of 18ab and 12a, we need to first look at the numbers for each term. 18 and 12 are both in the 6 times table. The number common factor is 6. Next we look at the letters. They both have an a. The letter common factor is a. The common factor for the terms is therefore 6a. To factorise this expression, first we need the number common factor, um, which will be 3, because 3 goes into 9 and 12. And then we need to find the letter common factor. They both have an x. 9xy and 12x both have an x. So our common factor is 3x. Write this common factor outside of a bracket. And the final thing we need to do is divide the 9xy and the 12x by the 3x. So 9xy divided by 3x, focus on the numbers first, 9 divided by 3 is 3, and then the xy divided by x will just leave the y. The 12x, 12 divided by 3 is 4, and x divided by x is just 1, so it would be 4 times 1, which will just be 4. We start by finding the number common factor of these two terms. 14 and 21 are both in the 7 times table. And then we look at the letter common factor. Now, the x squared is x times x, so x times x times y in the first term, and then we have x times y. So they both have an x and a y that we can divide out. So our common factor is 9xy. Put this outside of a bracket, and we divide them both by the 7xy. So 14 divided by 7 is 2. x times x times y divided by x times y, so that will remove one of those x's and it will remove the y and it will just leave x. So our first term in the bracket will be 2x. Minus 21 divided by 7 is minus 3, so we've got to take away 3 and then the xy is completely divided out, so it's just going to be 2x minus 3. Let's finish on this question. Jody factorised an expression and her answer was 3x brackets 2x plus 4, yet it was incorrect. Why? If you know, write it in the comments below. And come to onmaths.com or click the link in the description to access our GCSE papers and predictions, all completely for free, and you can even save your scores with a free account. This video is part of a larger GCSE course that you can follow along with at onmaths.com.